Hi everyone, I'm Tom Gooding and I'm an athletic trainer at Mount St. Joseph University. Today I've got with me Nicole and Stephanie who are also athletic trainers at the Mount. We're going to be talking about injury prevention, specifically going through a warm-up before activity as well as stretching to increase your flexibility. One of the first things you should do is warm up that muscle by going through some mild activity. Here I've got Alex working on a bike for about 5 to 10 minutes so he can just get a little bit of a sweat and get that muscle ready to go. Nicole is going to be going through a dynamic warm-up, which involves her activating that muscle, getting some blood flow to that muscle, and being able to work through a good range of motion. Nicole's going to be going through a banded hamstring stretch. She's going to bring her leg up nice and straight, all the way to the end range of motion, hold it for a couple seconds, and then come right back down. She's going to go through that about five to ten times before switching to the other leg. Stephanie is going to be doing a standing hamstring stretch, which is a static stretch, excellent for after activity. What that's going to do is going to shut down that muscle and really help it relax so you aren't too sore after your workout. Stephanie's going to hold it for about 20 to 60 seconds before changing legs, and she can do that two to three times. Nicole's going to be going through a banded quad stretch, which is going to be pulling right over that shoulder, and she's going to be actually kicking into that band a little bit just to get that muscle prepped and ready to go through that range of motion. Stephanie is gonna be doing a standing quad step stretch where she's holding that ankle and really again, just shutting that muscle down and making sure it's nice and loose so you're not too sore after a workout. Here we've got Nicole doing a piriformis stretch where she's seated and just pulling up on that knee, really stretching out those glutes and the piriformis which are right in the back of the hip. Stephanie here is now doing a knee tuck, which is activating those glutes and working each side, holding about two to three seconds before coming back down. And again, she can do that five to 10 times before switching to the other side. One more thing that you guys can bring into your warm up or your cool down is a foam roller. Foam rollers are really inexpensive and can be found at pretty much any sporting goods store out there. If you don't have a foam roller, you can also use a lacrosse ball or even a softball just something nice and hard to really loosen up that muscle. What we're gonna do with the foam roll is just go right over that muscle nice and slow, going back and forth, taking about a minute or two of each muscle group. And what that's gonna do is help break up fascia. Fascia is this really nice gunky spiderweb substance that's found throughout the entire body and all throughout those muscles. And what that fascia does is just really kind of constricts that muscle. And by loosening it up, we can then get our muscles nice and loose.